and it's because God gave me my dream job legit he did that whole delight in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart he he did exactly that to me and he's no respecter of persons what he did for me he wants to do that to you <laughs> Hello, this has been long and awaited and I'm so sorry that I'm about two years late to the party on this one. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, then my name is Rejoice. This is Simply Rejoice. And basically, I just like to talk about Jesus and I haven't done that for almost two years on this channel. Um, sorry about that. But just wanna like say a massive thank you to all of you who like sent me messages, put comments down, emailed me, even you're just so encouraging and it's just so cool i get so much life from just speaking with other christians about god and just hearing what god is doing in their life your life and stuff so i love it i love it i love it it's gotten me so excited and i'm like oh my gosh i can't wait to hop on and then just like continue conversations and stuff like that so yay 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 very exciting times and so like i said i've been away for like almost two years this has a lot to do in fact this is pretty much why i've been away for like almost two years and it's because god gave me my dream job legit he did that whole delight in the lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart as in like he'll put the desires in your heart like what he desires for you he'll put that in your heart and then you start to desire the things that god has for you and then do it like he he did exactly that to me and I feel like my whole just life my life this everything happening is such a testimony of just how awesome God is and he's no respecter of persons what he did for me he wants to do that to you if you are believing or trusting God for some part of your future at the moment maybe it's career related maybe it's something else related God God can and wants to come through so I hope that you can take this whole video as just encouragement for you knowing that God is faithful like he is a faithful God you keep seeking him and like you will just see how awesome he is his word when it like gets out it does not return to him void he says he's got great plans for you I'll put the scripture references throughout this whole video down in the description by the way but all of that is so true God is amazing and he has so much for you and so I really hope that you get encouraged by all of this and so enough of my craziness and let me hop straight into my testimony all right okay so where i left off i pretty much left this channel in 2018 i think it was probably november 2018 and around that period i had just i graduated in the summer and i had no idea what i was doing in my life so you might have seen like my postgraduate depression video you might have seen like my when on earth is this prophecy gonna come true video and you might have seen some other videos as well that i posted around the same time where i've just kind of mentioned the fact that I didn't have a job or I had a job and then I left that job because I didn't like the job and I was trying to like figure out what God had for me and during that period God kept telling me to make videos like I'd pray I'd be like okay Jesus what do you want me to do and he'd say make videos and I'm like okay cool so I would make a video so that's when I was like making YouTube videos and volunteering and making videos for this other Christian media platform I'd always pray and I'd just be like okay Lord like what do you what do you want me to do and he'd say make videos and I'll be like, okay, go make videos. And I come back and I'll be like, Jesus, we're good and fun at making videos, but this girl needs to be making some type of income because it's good for us to be making income. I'd literally have this like dialogue with God going back and forth with him. He'd say, make videos, I'll come back, make videos, get like, I need to make money, go back, be like, Jesus, what's up? And this was going on for a period of time. I can't remember how long, whether it was like a month or two months. Then eventually I was like, you know what, okay, like, I'm just gonna do this, but I'm gonna apply for some other jobs and stuff. So I applied for another job and I had like gotten another role working in like a student accommodation, pretty much managing like, like in the reception area, but like specifically managing their social media and like organizing events for students as well as just engaging with the students and just, it was fun. It was a fun job. But at the same time, the Christian organization that I um, that I was volunteering for, I was like messaging like the manager. She said to me like, oh, like I got I got pregnant, like, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. If you need some extra help or something, just let me know, like I've got the time for it. I can like, you know, film stuff, like 
whatever you need me to do. Um, and she messaged back and she was like, oh, hey, well, we actually have this application and this job role going, which has been open since summer, but we haven't advertised it to anyone. And I was like, Jesus, say what? Okay, cool. So she sent me the job description for it. And I, I remember this, I was on the bus and I was just reading the job description on the bus. And I was, as I was reading it, oh my gosh, like I kid you not, right? It was like someone had taken everything in my heart and just wrote it down on a job description. It was like I was reading stuff that was in my heart that I didn't even know was in my heart. So I was reading things that I was like, I didn't know I didn't know I wanted to do this. But then reading it was like, oh my gosh, that's that's a piece of me. Like, I hope you, you kind of see what I mean. It was just everything that was in me that I wanted to do and I didn't know I wanted to do because I was trying to figure out what it was. It was like that had been taken out and written onto a piece of paper and I was just reading it like, whoa. The role was to like work with other Christian creative creators, bloggers and bloggers, as well as other types of, you know, creatives that you can get out there. And it's to work with Christian artists, it's to work with Christian organizations. And well, I'd be part of like making videos and writing blogs and things, but also managing like a group of Christian creatives that do the same thing. Talking about lifestyle things, talking about things related to life, to social issues, to emotional issues, spiritual issues, everything happening. But speaking about those issues and things that's happening in our lives from a Christian perspective, reading through all of this, I was like, <gasps> Wow, like I was actually gobsmacked. And the fact that she said it'd been open since summer, like, and I graduated in the summer, and the fact that it hadn't been advertised or they hadn't like put it out to anyone else, but then she sent it to me as I was just being faithful to God. I was like, whoa. So I, I sent her like my um, CV, my cover letter. I went for an interview. I'd already started this other job as well at the same time. And then I got the other job, like this job, um, and it just worked out so well. And so I, t I told them like, if I could start in like a couple of months time, which actually worked where it's so perfect for them and perfect for me, like the timing of all of it was just impeccable. And then I was able to give like a good amount of notice to like the job that I was in and I had such a good like working relationship with them too even if I was leaving quite soon and I was only there for a few months and oh my gosh like it was amazing and literally my move moving out of Sheffield into my new home like in another city that whole that that whole process was smooth and there's a whole testimony there about even getting my house everything the whole process God just smoothened it out he smoothened the whole thing out and like oh you know when it says in Proverbs, it talks about um, God will make your path straight. That whole situation was literally God just, he made my whole path straight. After it, even like getting into the local church that I got into, finding that church, everything. And like the amazing friends that I have now, like if you're watching this, I love you guys, love you girls, love you gals. All of it, God just pieced it all together. I was looking back at it and even like now, like I look back at it and I'm like, wow, God actually gave me a job. It was the dream job I didn't ever knew, know existed and I didn't know you could do. I can just see how God, things that God put in my heart ages ago and the things that God got in me to do and that I was engaging with and stuff like that. And even from a young age, what I was doing, I could just see how God was in all of those little things that I was doing. Stuff like video editing and stuff like making YouTube videos. God was in all of it because he wanted and all he wanted to bring me to the place that i'm at now and i don't know where he wants to take this and i don't know what he wants to do with it next but i can just see everything that god was putting in my heart and the fact that i guess certain desires and stuff that i had as i continued to, to delight in the lord he kept giving putting in my heart things that he wanted me to do it just felt like oh, i just want to be doing that i don't know why but i want to be doing that i don't even know if you know this but when i first started my youtube channel god wasn't really the focus of it i wanted to talk more about like personal development and that kind of thing because i'm like i'm quite into it things have changed a little bit but i'm quite into like all of that and so i started off like talking about that but then i just kind of like as i kept seeking god i felt like you know what like thing i want to make be speaking more about life and a Christian lifestyle and speaking more about God and things. And so I kind of changed the focus and I started doing that. And now I can see that that was even the Lord like putting that desire in my heart to want to speak about him and to want to speak about life and things happening and stuff like video editing. Like that was the Lord that gave me that desire to want to do that. Even like when I was choosing between which softwares to edit, whether to do Final Cut Pro or whether to use Adobe, like, and I felt like, I just felt like I should be doing Adobe when I was even trying to switch to Final Cut. It was like, nope, I should be doing Adobe. 
Adobe, so I did that. And now in my role, like we use Adobe, like little things like that, little things like that. I could just see how God is in all of it. And it was so incredible to see, and it's incredible to look back on and just see how he really is so faithful. No matter what situation it is that you're going in, you're in right now, whether you are working and you don't really like your job, whether you love your job and you're just wanting to seek God more, or whether you've maybe graduated or you're looking for a job, like whatever place it is, and even just for life in general, we will never fail when seeking God about it. And when we give that to the Lord and we say, you know what, Lord, like I want what you want for me. And the crazy thing is, is I always used to think, you probably, you know, shared this with me, probably thought the same. I used to think that, you know what, if you give, if you choose to follow the Lord and you give him, I guess, your, your expectations, you give him your future, all that, and you give him your life and you say, you know what, Lord, I want to do what you want to do, that you're going to end up doing something you don't enjoy, right? That's kind of what I thought. But then I've just come to see the opposite is so true. The opposite, absolute complete opposite of that is what is true and how it really is following God. And you give all of that to him and you give up what you think you want and what you think is right to say, you know what, Lord, I give this to you and I want to take on the plans that you have and what you say is right for me. And I ask you, Lord, to help me to give me the desires that you have into my heart so that I can start to desire those things. You're going to come in and discover that you find your true identity in the sense of like the role that i'm in right now i cannot think and even just the the life i'm living i guess and the other things that i'm involved in it just it's the most me that i've ever felt like i don't know what else is so perfectly suited to to me to my identity to who i am and i know that all of that is not because of me like i know all of that is because that's god in me that is his spirit living in me that is who he created me to be that's who he's the gifts and the talents and so on that he's put in me to do and now he's just bringing all of that out and so it's from my spirit and his spirit which are one in me that all of that life is just being poured out it's just connecting with me on so many different levels that i it's just so crazy and i'm like oh my gosh this is literally the most fun ever it is the most fun thing ever now i can truly see how like i've always been obsessed with wanting to be passionate about what i'm doing and i can actually see that right now like i'm passionate about it because I know that this is what the Lord had called me to, this is what the Lord had prepared for me, and also this is what the Lord had been preparing me for. And so I know that I'm exactly where he wants me to be. I'm at the right place at the right time. My life and my future, everything I do is just surrender to God. It's just exciting. And I don't know how he wants to continue to cultivate all of this and how he wants to continue to work in all of this, but I'm just so excited that I get to be in it. And I guess all of this is just really like I've been saying in different bits and stuff throughout this whole video, is just to encourage you like God is so faithful and he's no respecter of person. That just means that what he does for me, it's not like he's just doing this for me. Like, no, he wants to do the same thing for you as well. And he wants to do the same thing for your mom, for your cousin, your dad, your sister, your bro, all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them. <laughs> Stop playing with drugs. No, but he wants to do all of that for you too. And he will do it for you too. Continue to seek him, as I'm hoping that you're doing. Continue to ask him. Continue to delight in him. And he will lead you and bring you to those places and he probably is already cultivating in you what he has for you to do or cultivating in you just different things and it's the most amazing thing ever i feel like there's so much more that i could have just said but i'm just gonna leave it at that if you want like if you have any questions about this or if you want to hear more about a particular part of it then let me know because I'm more than happy to like sit down and chat about that. So yeah, I think the next video I'm putting up is going to be my two year vision board review. <laughs> um, even though it was a one year vision board. Um, but it's two years since I've done it. So we're going to be doing that. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this, then give it a like and, and subscribe if you want to. Like if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. That's cool too. If you didn't like this video, then let me know why. Just, just you know, for my own sake. But yeah, anyway, I'll catch you in the next video and I hope that you are blessed because in Christ you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. <laughs> okay? Alright, okay, bye.